hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see you back and many of you have been requesting me that jupiter is going to transit into the nakshatra of anuradha which falls in the zodiac sign of scorpio completely and how do we see this transit because it's going to be a very 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 long transit it is going to start from october 27th this year which is almost after a week and then it is going to go on 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 and on for a long time then it will again go retrograde and then it's like it's a long transit you see within the zodiac sign of scorpio so i've already made the video for all the ascendants of jupiter transit into scorpio in english and hindi both so if you have not watched it then please watch it you can type jupiter transit into scorpio you will find it in my channel all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know how this jupiter transit is going to affect you depending on your ascendant or sun moon zodiac or whatever you call it then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video and all my other videos below okay so now what is happening is jupiter is still in nakshatra of vishakha vishakha nakshatra my god this has been a crazy energy so basically what is vishakha vishakha represents trying to walk simultaneously on two paths so check wherever the sign pisces and sagittarius is falling should i repeat check the lordships of jupiter see whichever houses jupiter is ruling in your chart not placed it can be placed anywhere but see the lordships all right don't see the placement of jupiter see the lordship again and again i am stressing because many people write to me that oh you said uh, that for this ascendant this will happen but my jupiter is in fifth house fourth house this is not happening no i am not talking of placements here i am talking of the lordships okay and uh, many of you say that we do not know how to see the lordship of jupiter so just see whichever houses the number 9 and 12 is falling 9 is the mool trigon sign of jupiter which is sagittarius and 12 is the own sign pisces so regarding those houses in the last 6 months i would say you would have felt that you have tried too many different things when jupiter was in swati too many different options and then you narrowed it down to a few or other two options and then you parallelly tried to implement both the options or more than two options suppose jupiter is your second lord then things related to finances you might have try to gain finances from two different sides or something to do with your family you might have tried to uh, settle issues in your family using two parallel routes or you might have and second house represents everything basically contacts all contacts also come in your second house so it could have happened that you would have tried to uh, please other people i mean simultaneously you might you you might have tried to please people who are not willing to cooperate but you are like oh no 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 let's try because that's the sign of libra right we always try to balance but now when it enters anuradha and now it is still in the fourth pada of vishakha so now uh, in this last 7 to 8 days till 27th when it is still in vishakha you will finally realize because the fourth pada of vishakha deals with understanding and letting go of things which do not uh give us fulfillment in the long run the fourth path of every nakshatra deals with that so now in this coming week from 19 to 27 you will realize that finally there is some th some clarity on the houses which jupiter is ruling in your chart or you will take a different route altogether that can also happen because of some other aspects about which i will not speak here so check the houses which jupiter is ruling and then now you will see that in this coming week till 27th you will get a clearer picture and then when it enters anuradha from 27th till a very long time july august next year you will realize that now you are actually sitting and working with focus now you will not change the path so when jupiter was in swati 
then it's like you are exploring too many options see the houses with jupiter is ruling you will you will naturally see it those are areas had undergone a tremendous quest a tremendous search for happiness because swati deals with searching for happiness always remember that swati nakshatra natives they are always trying to fulfill their desires at any cost so whichever house is jupiter rules in your chart depending on your ascendant you would have felt that some very long cherished desire desires pertaining to those houses you would have tried to fulfill at any cost by any means by hook or by crook when jupiter was in swati right at least it has happened for me i don't know for others and then when it entered vishakha you had realized that no <laughs> that's too much <laughs> i have to narrow down the path but even when it is in vishakha you are still convinced the beauty of vishakha is that see whenever moon transits vishakha you will always find that you will for every area during that day you will find that there are more than one option there are two options or there are three options primarily you will see two options so because of that what hap what happens is you feel that i can do two of them together so what you think is first i'll do this then i'll do that but when you start doing one or when you are just about to start doing one of them you realize that no either i can only do this or i have to change uh, into the other option i cannot just do both simultaneously together okay that you will realize and you would have realized that so when it was in swati you you thought that there are many things which will give you happiness or which will give you success in the area of which jupiter is ruling suppose jupiter is your seventh lord then you, you, things related to relationships would have undergone that kind of a flavor that you are trying too many uh, if you are not married then you are maybe dating too many people or if you are married then you are trying different ways to improve your relationship and then when it enters vishakha you are like oh yeah finally there are two ways <laughs> but now when it enters anuradha you are like no it's not two it's only one you see especially now is a very good time for sagittarius ascendants and pisces ascendants why do i say this because when your lagna lord is transiting nakshatras like swati and vishakha special because see these two are quite challenging nakshatras in my opinion the world may say whatever thing whatever they want but in my opinion these two are one of the most challenging nakshatras why because these two nakshatras they they are following in the signs of libra and scorpio because libra is the sign where sun gets debilitated and Uh, scorpio is the sign where moon gets debilitated so the zodiac signs where the atma which is the sun and the manas which is the mind the moon gets debilitated are without a doubt difficult zodiac signs and the nakshatras falling there will also give us challenges so when the lagna lord like for example if you are a sagittarius rising or a pisces rising if if you are either of those two then your lagna lord itself is transiting in those nakshatra so it is like sun and moon transiting there so in last 6 months or in the last one year and that too jupiter doesn't like to be in vishakha or swati because it is like the sign of libra which is ruled by venus and venus is the arch enemy of jupiter as we know because jupiter says that focus on spirituality and venus says no 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 material life will give you all happiness okay so because of that your life for these two ascendants could have undergone this feeling that wherever i go whatever i do it's always 2 2 it's always 3 3 not 1 1 but now thank god it has entered scorpio which is the sign ruled by mars and mars is a great friend to jupiter and now when it enters anuradha you will feel that finally i am starting to focus and you will focus now now basically what will happen all the things which you tried which did not work out will be clear so you will throw them out of your life or if you have not thrown them out it is the time that you throw them out all right so suppose jupiter is your 11th lord then 
it might be time to kick out some people from your life especially friends who are taking you to parties pubs alcohol yes doing unnecessary things simply wasting your time or if it is the your seventh lord suppose you are a gemini or a virgo rising then it can happen that you are dating too many people and then now finally you are like oh i have to choose one of them that can happen it has happened with these two ascendants because their seventh lord has undergone this kind of uh, this kind of a transformation you see or if jupiter is ruling your sixth house then it can happen that things related to health which you were trying to change or something related to workplace it was not happening you are trying too many things and then finally something works and something doesn't and now you will realize that i do one thing now and apart from this what will also happen is you will realize your limits should i repeat you will realize your limits regarding those houses which jupiter is ruling because whenever a planet transits swati because it is ruled by rahu and it is this uh, it is also in the sign where sun gets debilitated you can feel that i will rule the entire world i will conquer everything but then when it goes to vishakha you are like oh no no i can't do that and then when it enters anuradha you are like nothing doing only this okay so you will realize your limits you will it there is a need to become humble basically you will realize that i cannot get everything that i want and i cannot get it at that velocity which i want at that speed things will take time and you will yourself realize this because you will see that all the other things that i did did not work out so this is the only option which i have where i have got some success so i will focus on this and that that's very good actually because that will make you focused that will take you away from all other distractions which are there all right so these two ascendants you are very lucky now is the time that you will focus and jupiter is the natural significator of spirituality hope optimism positivity gurus guides counselors as we all know so when jupiter is transiting uh, the nakshatra of anuradha it is highly essential that we connect at a very intimate level with our gurus we try to read the scriptures and by that our mind will be more calm and we will have a clearer vision of what to do in this area and anuradha is also the nakshatra which is ruled by saturn always remember this so especially if you are a sagittarius rising or a pisces rising it can be very good if you try to do something traditional by traditional i mean something uh, from your own religion or any kind of spiritual practices because anuradha nakshatra pushya pushya is anuradha nakshatra which is ruled by saturn so especially these two nakshatras i have seen that they always benefit from traditional methods okay so if you are having some health problem these two ascendants then you can try to go to an ayurvedic doctor okay genuine ayurvedic doctor and again i am not endorsing ayurveda here but i am just giving an giving an outlook if you are having some problem then uh, you can try to sort it out using some traditional means that will help you and now with all humility and surrender let us focus in one area of life okay otherwise when these energies were with swati and vishakha we were like everything seems to be possible but anuradha says no 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 that's it end of the story you do one thing now all right so depending on your dasha and your existing uh, horoscope so for example if you have any planet in anuradha above which jupiter is transiting now you will realize that you have to work more towards that planet so suppose you have moon or venus placed in anuradha then you will always feel that now is the time that we have to work more on our mental area or on relationships or depending on houses which moon or venus they whichever houses they are ruling in the chart okay depending on your ascendant so we have to that that will be become a 20 hour long video that focusing on every ascendant and for every ascendant every planet every planet ruling a particular house it's impossible to do that here but we have to see that ourselves all right so i am very sure that this energy which i have faced you are also facing pertaining to the houses which jupiter is ruling again not sitting all right placement is not important that is important but when i talk here i am only talking of the houses all right and if you have jupiter itself placed in your horoscope 
in another then this is your jupiter return so it's a fa fantastic time to uh, do spiritual practices and improve those houses whichever uh, the houses which jupiter is ruling in the chart all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what jupiter is going to do in anuradha for god's sake <laughs> it will not do anything everything you have to do okay and do it with pinpointed focus and surrender and humility and realize that everything need not work at least if something works it's great all right so surrender to the universe and focus that is why i have given these tags in the thumbnail if you would have seen all right and if you want a consultation and you want to know that how this is going to affect you depending on your horoscope then you can please go to my website and book a reading okay and until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you